yeah. are playing here today. Yeah, we'll try to get him on again. Uh, if it, it, he just needs to win next round, yeah. and then he'll then he'll get paired against the winner of this. Yeah, I'm calling it right now. If he wins, yes, so yeah, of course. Um, so yeah, we have Jason Morgan on Blue Eye Control against Adam Sarosi on Mono Red Phoenix. Yep. Um, so Dex, I'm interested. I do like me some Arclight Phoenixes. Yeah. The Mono Red Phoenix deck. Uh, I mean, the Phoenix deck in whole, not like in general, got Finale Promise, which is insane. Oh, that card's nuts. Um, you still have my gut shots. Sorry, just thinking out I loud. Do. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. I'm not either. But yeah, um, Modern Red Phoenix is actually getting a couple new interesting cards with Modern Horizons. Oh yeah, Lava Dart. Lava Dart, and then I actually really like Araya of Flame. Which one's that again? So Araya of Flame is, I believe, a three mana enchantment, where oh, you, you can cast uh, uh, set your opponent to ten. You no, they don't. You they gain ten life. Oh yeah. Each opponent you control gains ten life. And then you can deal, a da you, whenever you cast Instant Sorcery, it gets a charge counter. And whenever you cast, and then it deals X damage to a target player or Planeswalker, where X is... Charge counter. The amount of, amount of charge counters it has. Yeah, I saw a like, deck list that has like no creatures. It's like, for that is a wink on. Eh, I don't like that. Like, I still like, I, I don't know exactly what build, if he's on like the prowess creatures with Swift Spears and Soul Scar Mage. I really still like those, especially with Lava Dart. I think Lava Dart's li uh, really good. Lava Dart is interesting. I like, think it's just. I think it's better than Gut Shot uh, in these decks. So uh, yeah. Uh, oh, he was AK when he Yeah, so he was AK. Andrew is playing against Mar Mark Anlicker. He is on Infect. But he is he, on Infect. He literally is playing against a guy we just had on camera. Uh, we just don't like to repeat, especially early on, of the people we have on camera, because uh, we like we do like to give different people different decks on. Um, I know. A while there, though, uh, it was just like mono blue white control, though, we, at the store. Yeah. And I was having a heyday. <laughs> nah, that's fun. So, yeah, we have. I saw a Phoenix, I see a Phoenix in Adam's hand. I, is that a fetch land? Um, so, I know for a fact he has at least a green splash in the sideboard. Yeah. He's borrowing two copies of Cinder Vines from me. That's double Phoenix. Yeah. We're going off. We're doing it. Does he have double gut shot, too? Oh, my God. Please tell me he has double gut shot. Double. Dear Lord, baby Jesus, please tell me he has double gut shot. He's going to make Jason Morgan throw the table. He might. Please. Please. I mean, I, I mean, he, he has a spell fears, but like, I don't think he's expecting the turn one to double, like, turn no. one to go off. Like, no one does. No, yeah, like, that's just so improbable. And, like... Um, no, he does not have a good double gut shot. I mean, he could draw it. I don't... F so, looking at his hands, I'm actually not... Even okay, and so now we have lava spike. Now next turn we don't we we don't have land two. No. So if Adam finds land two, this hands very it's, this whole hands is gonna turn on. Oh yeah. Like he can manamorphose into gut shot or swift spear gut shot lava spike. But oh god. I mean we can just oh, play soul scar mage. I mean yeah, we're we're gonna do that here. He was really hoping to find a second land with his yep. Faithless Loom. But he, what, he's, how many lands does these decks play? 19? Yep. 18? And is it Phoenix plays 18? I mean, or like a uh, second gut shot. Yeah, even a second gut shot would be yeah. pretty good. Yeah, I don't think Jason would actually pat here if, unless it was. No, there's no way you pat. There's no way you pat this yet. Uh, I don't I, think you pat that until. It's probably Adam's a four-powered creature. Yeah. Um, so I think Jason may think about if he wants to play this North Sadness in. I like uh, his Wrath of God, by the way. It's Portal. Okay. Yep. I I, I know I still have a path to art. I like Path to Exile Arts earlier, but art is like the least important part of Magic Cards to me. Uh, no, Border. Border is a different story. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I try to get arts I like. I mean, that's fair. I do, too. Yeah. But... So at least like if when I'm playing it losing with my bad deck, at least it's aesthetically pleasing. That's to fair. Me. Now if there is a monetary difference, I I go for the cheaper one. Yeah, I mean I can't say much because of my basics. Um, I'm assuming we're talking Karn the Great Creator and not Karn Scion of Urza or Karn Silver uh, Karn Golem. Liberated. What about Karn? Silver I'm also Golem? assuming we're not talking about Karn Silver Golem. Is that even legal and modern? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know. So we're talking about yeah. I mean. So Tutors and wishes are just kind of dumb. There's a reason the only 
real wish in legacy in modern is a uh, glittering wish. Yeah, glittering wish is what I meant, not cunning wish. Mm -hmm. Cunning wish. Shouldn't be game person at a Karn and ensnaring bridge. Literally couldn't lose. His opponent draws his Karn, locks the game out for both players. Yeah, I mean, oh, he symmetrical effects are dumb. Yeah, so I think what Jason's contemplating here, if he wants to play Narset, or hold up, hold up the spell pierce. Um, because even if, like, Adam draws second land, I don't think he minds us to cast Manamorphose. Okay, we just Yeah, no, I pierce. think either way. Oh, God. Manamorphose number three. So we may just gut shot right here. What's up, Cat Nabis? How's it going, Cat Nabis? And then this starts... We missed you last Friday. You came into our chat, said hi, and then you left. Yeah. Was it today? I, was it today I watched Cat Nabis stream? I don't know. I forget Cat Nabis. Was I it, don't was know what today? you're doing in your with your life. I yeah, this is what I prefer doing this over gut shotting, because you have he has a skewer of the critics in hand, so mm -hmm. he wants to be able to turn that back on, but also this just uses his mana the best. Yeah, and now gut shot can be used to block a chump block, a chump block in snapcaster snap. mage. Yeah, that I don't think you want to do that. I think it's fine if the snapcaster mage would trade would would trade. Yeah. But because you have that skewer of the critics and you're using the lava spike here, you want to make sure you can turn that on. If yeah. Matt, if Adam draws a land, he gets to go off. But he's missed like three land or er, what? Was he on the player of the draw? He was on the draw, so he's missed two. No, no, he now. was on. The, yeah, he was he on was the draw. Yeah, he was. Because Jason played a tap colonnade. Yeah. Yeah, because we were talking about how he could potentially go off. Uh, turn one if he drew like a second gut shot. Um, yeah. Off the face included. I mean, if he draws a second gut shot here, you can still. Yeah, I do like Adam's discipline about holding the gut shot though. Yeah, no, yeah, you have to hold the gut shot here. I think w if I was Adam, though, I would have. I don't know if I would have attacked with Skull Scar Mage. See if you, Jason, would have baited the uh, Snapcaster Mage. Well, you have to cast Lava Spike first because it's a sorcery. Um. So, I just want. I just want to get the skewer out of uh, my hand if I'm Adam personally. I think I could be wrong. I mean, you're. That's right. But I don't know. I, again, for the option of ha drawing the second gut shot, I think. This is the this is the best line from Adam, uh, because if you do draw the second gut shot, then you get to bring your phoenixes back. Yep. So Jason's hand is pretty good. Here's another lava spike. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I we think probably just lava spike again. Yeah, like it uh, forced Jason to have a. Uh, I think what Adam's thinking about my line now, just like swing school scar mage, then get the skewer out of the hand. I see again. I really don't like doing that because of the ability to draw another gut shot. But he's he's doing it here. I mean, so yeah, he just yeah he just wants to take he's just taking one. Uh, I mean, Jason. But then, are you gonna fire off? I think we definitely fire off skewer. skewer? Yeah, I mean. Okay. Um. And I don't. It, it's it's a weird. Play. It looks like we're here. We're gonna get a Snapcaster Mage. Snap Spell Pierce. So Spell Pierce the Skewer. Yep. So we're just fine. Um, I also think uh, he's just doing that so he can. Whew. Like Jason has all these tools, but like he's gotta start. I mean, Jason's just going to close this game out with card advantage, probably. Yeah. Because the, the problem for... Honestly, the problem for both players here is Adam having three copies of Manamorphos in hand. Yeah. Although, does Jason have a two-mana counter spell? Not yet. Uh, uh, what I was think that we last card? Verdict, Op, Snapcaster, Maze, Jace. Okay. So, um, I think so it's between... It might be between Verdict... Bird is just awkward against these styles of decks. Yeah. So th this is going to be an interesting turn for from Adam. If he draws a second land. If he draws a second land. Horizons is going to be legal next weekend for FNM and everything, yes. What Adam could do? Oh, no, that's... <sighs> Narset is actually really annoying against Adam's hand right now. Yeah, uh, so, I mean... What Adam could do is Manamorphose just once uh, to get the spell. Um, use. All right. There's a land. We have a game now. 
Yeah, so the thing I really wanted to uh, do this turn if I was Adam is I wanted to, like, and honestly, the best play might still be to do this. And I honestly kind of think it is. So, so he can Manamorphose, Manamorphose, Manamorphose. I don't think we do that. So we'll just listen. Then you can gut shot probably Jason. Then you can play Bedlam Reveler, which you won't draw any cards, but you will discard the third Phoenix in his hand and bring all three of them back and put Jason on a one-turn clock. Um, so... Okay, that, that's, that's tricky right there. I mean... It's not a great line. I think, I think Adam needs to actually... I mean, you, you, I'm sorry, you probably kill the Narset if you do do that. Yeah. But I don't hate the line. And uh, plus you get a bunch of prowess triggers off on your uh, Soul Scrum Mage. Yeah, I think what he's going to do is... Uh, yeah, yeah, Narset. Yeah, you don't draw. I think he's just going to gut shot and lava, lava... You can lava spike Planeswalkers, right? You can, yeah. Oh, yeah, because I remember uh, mm -hmm. Zach Kramer was like, yeah, that's interaction. So yeah, he's probably going to do that. Yeah. But I think, and you saw by his drawing, he didn't uh, get the Narset. I don't know what he drew for the turn. Uh, he drew uh, land. Oh, yeah, you're right. What am I thinking? Yeah. Um, so who are we? I think, we, I think we're getting Oracle Text on Lava Spike. Oh, yeah. It's weird because of when they did the errata. Um, they changed it to, say, I want to uh, kill this Narset. Player plans. I do. So if we're taking this line, then. Yeah, if we're taking it's not this. Like Jason was just dead. One. So Manamorphose, 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 gut shot. I, I want to. Okay, gut shot. So we. Jason was dead. How? So you Manamorphose, 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 gut shot. That's yeah. four prowess triggers, and then one point putting Jason to fourteen. Soul Scar Mage, and then you play Bedlam Reveler. Discard third Phoenix. Uh, Soul Scar Mage is five power. You have nine power worth of Phoenixes. That's 14. That's 15 total. Jason was dead. That was Holy lethal. Crap. Holy crap. Yeah. Ugh. I mean, I mean, that was lethal like, through, so much like, can go uh, wrong with that line, though. Can it? Uh, what goes wrong? Uh, he, uh, a path. Uh, I mean, so he's at three. Or yeah. he's at... Yeah, he's at three. Uh, uh, two mana, a uh, mana leak or something like. I that. mean, mana leak gets you with your. It's just gonna if he has mana leak, he's tagging the uh, mana morphos. That's yeah. the first mana morphos, so yeah, that affects both lines. Now, where it really goes wrong is if this card's a uh, terminus. What was, I think it's what, a path. What, what we draw a path. I mean, so yeah, we should draw a path, but that's fine. Like, what is he gonna? I mean, did we go after Phoenix at all? Okay. So I don't know. Y path could get you there, but I personally just would have gone for lethal. And plus, you put him to five. The way I did it, when you have a lava spike in your hand. No, he would be down to uh, three. Well, no, he because he probably he passed the soul scar mage here. Yeah. And he probably would have passed the Soul Scar Mage again. Yeah, so it, and you had exactly 15. Jason was at 15. So you, he goes to 5. Yeah. Path is Here's nice. another path. That's really good. But if Jason... He has a Cryptic Command. I know he has a Cryptic Command. He has double Cryptic. But, I mean, Adam could just draw, like, a Lightning Bolt. Yeah. No, he has to do it correctly. You can't uh, Lightning Bolt before combat. Oh, we're just going to path now. No, I know. I know oh, we were revealing. Yeah. So. What we draw? What we draw? Secure the critics. I think we're hard casting that card. Oh, wait, no, we don't have a lava spike anymore. No. Do we hard cast that card? Uh, I think we attack first. I think we attack. We go to combat first. Yeah. And yeah, he's going to tap the team draw. Yep. And now, see, with the line Adam took, I really wanted to kill the Narset. Yeah. So that's the issue. Now, like, we don't, our hand's not really doing that much because we can't just play this Bedlam Reveler. So, yeah, I mean, now he's just going to shoot Jason in the face for three. And we're going to path Phoenix. Yep. And now, yeah. but now we have a hard cast Phoenix. 
Yeah, now we can just hard cast. Well, hard cast the Phoenix doesn't work against another Cryptic Command. But yeah, I mean, that's another out. And Narset is not addicted through time anymore. He's already nope. gotten his two cards. Oh, yeah. So, so we just have what we're working with for Jason. Yeah, I mean, Path Oh, Jason has another Narset in hand, I think. Yeah. Um, Where's that a Glacial Fortress? Uh, he has a Narset Path Cryptic. Okay. Yeah. I don't think Jason wants to risk just play yeah. another Narset. Because he does have to make sure this um, Arclight Phoenix. Oh, yeah, you're correct. Yeah. And we drew light up the stage. That's not going to do anything. Actually, it, I think it does. Because, like. So the problem with light up the stage is, I mean, it's a must counter if you're Jason. Uh, which is nice. I mean, well, it's not a must counter. But Adam's never going to get spectacle with it with what he's got going right on right now. I think if you're Adam, I'm just hard casting Phoenix here. Yeah. Um, Force him to have another counter spell, and then if you with if he does have the counter spell. Oh wait, no, he has animate colony to block. Oh, that's true. It's been animate colony, but then. <sighs> All right, we saw this coming. Yeah. I mean, I think this game is just going to come to, will Adam draw another, like, a lightning bolt or yeah. another lob spike? Yeah, basically he has to uh, make a settler's two spells worth countering. And I think that's what Adam's trying to do. I agree. So I think uh, it's actually smart of Adam not... I, so he's probably going to cast Light Up Stage now. Oh, yeah. So the uh, only re reason he does this is if we're casting Light Up Stage. Yeah. Um, what he's going to do now, and let's say Bolt, Lava Spike. Well, that's going to be countered. This is going to be countered for sure. Ah, uh, maybe not. Stomping ground, lightning oh. bolt. Don't lightning bolt now. Lightning bolt in the upkeep, please. Come on, Adam. I believe in you. I mean, you can just lightning bolt. Uh, you, you don't have to do it now. You have until your next turn. Yeah, uh, well, I'm, that's what I'm saying. But there's absolutely zero reason to lightning bolt in the his oh, turn. Oh, okay, okay. No, he's, he's, he's thinking about his stomping ground, I think. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's no reason to shock. What are you going to do, cast a Manamorphose that you can't, won't draw a card off of? He can't draw a card on Jason's turn. That is true. Um, but what he can do, so this Lightning Bolt is going to force the Cryptic Command. Yes. And, I and think Adam wins the game now. Yeah, so if you're Adam, his hand is... Bedlam Reveler, Manamorphose, Phoenix. Yeah, we're going to Lightning Bolt, targeting the Narset. <laughs> All right. Ooh, no, this was bad. This doesn't force the counter spell. Oh, my God. So now... Now we... F so I think what we do now is we flashback Faithless Looting. Uh, I think we Manamorphose first. You're correct. We Manamorphose first. Then we flashback Faithless Looting... Don't, don't, don't play this land yet. Oh. So we're going to start with Manamor... We should start with Manamorphose. Yep. Which looks like what we're going to do. All right. Which is good. And there's no way out of this gets countered. So you make red red. Yep. We drew another <laughs> land. So now we flash back Faithless Looting. Yep. Um, that doesn't cost one man. Oh, wait. No, he has a couple red. Yeah, that, what am I thinking? I'm kind of surprised that resolved. So now what we do is we cast the Skewer the Critics, targeting Jason, which forces him to block. Yeah. And then we get back the Phoenix. So as long as he doesn't... And we can still play Bedlam Reveler. Uh, no, we can't. Why not? Why can't we play? Why, how can we play Bedlam level? We we had to tap three mana right here to cast Skewer. Oh, you're right. I forgot about that. Yeah. I, for some reason, I thought we had Spectacle enabled. No. So this is a, yeah. This is a second spell. Faithful is the second spell. And very importantly, I believe the other card in Jason's hand is oust. Is oust, not condemn. Even condemn doesn't. Yeah, condemn does because condemn's an instant. Uh, so it you doesn't can tag no. the Phoenix. It, but it doesn't save him because of Triple Phoenix. He I doesn't mean, have Triple Phoenix. He's Both, going to. Uh, no, he's not. The other Phoenix has got pathed. Oh, yeah. There's only one Phoenix in the graveyard. Oh, yeah. 
I do like the fact that we played the Soul Scram Mage first. So yeah, and now Jason can't both attack and all also activate uh, Colonnade. So he does have an out of Jolin's path right here. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the, th the fourth path. Or a Snapcaster or Mage. Or Snapcaster Mage, yeah. Like, it, Jason's not dead, but... Oh. Is that a Mendelian click? <laughs> we're alive! We're alive! <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to get to take the Bedlam Reveler? Yeah. Holy, holy. Ooh, we're not dead yet, boys. Oh, and that's playing to your outs. I mean, yeah. So, we're still not looking great. Wait. Oh, he let him keep the Bedlam Reveler? Oh, because he has he has second Nar set. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, like, Jason knows he's dead to a lot, so, but... I mean, yeah, but this is... This is the correct line. Yeah, so we can oust the Soul Scar Mage. I mean, we have to answer the Soul Scar Mage somehow. Yeah. I think he wants to do this first. I think he would rather. Like he's trying to find like a cryptic. Did he draw another land? Yeah, he drew a Flutter Shroud. Okay. It's a fairy hero of Dominaria. That. Detention and sphere. Detention Sphere. Those that don't... answers the. Uh... It doesn't answer anything. It answers the Bedlam Leveler that comes down. I mean, so does Hero. Yeah, but I don't think you, there's a, you have a lot of cards that answer that. You were really looking for the answer to a top deck burn spell. Yeah, I mean, like, so I think Teferi Hero Dominator is a better pick here. Why? Um, because so. I mean, we can't play it this turn. Yeah, uh, but we Ac actually no, I think you do. I think you take it and play it this turn and hope you're because what spells that leave you dead to I don't know because this way you're dead to gut shot yeah that's an issue yeah I don't think you can play it this turn I think you have to just oust the soul scrimmage yeah also ousting the soul scrimmage gives you gives Adam a draw that's not lethal in the future mm -hmm. second from the top right yeah so it's it so this card has to be a blank correct and everything that kills Honestly, if I'm Jason, unless we really need like a counter spell or something, I don't think you can minus this Narset. Because then it dies to gut shot. All right. Okay, what's this card? Monastery Swift Spear. That doesn't do it. Not yet. But now I, we just play Monastery Swift Spear, hit, put him to two, and then play Bedlam Reveler. Yeah. And there's two lethal, or er, there's one lethal threat in play. But then we have two lethal threats in play. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, wait, three mana. Oh. I'm just playing both now. Okay. And we don't get to draw more cards. I wonder if you can attack Narset. I think you attack Jason here because you know there's a Teferi Hero of Dominaria. Okay. I'm just going to attack Narset, but I think you should attack Jason because there, you know there's a Teferi Hero of Dominaria. That's going to get played. That's going to minus on the Bellum Reveler. And so I think Narset is past its use now since Adam's top decking. Oh, that's correct. Like his. I mean, it stops Faithless Saluting, it stops Metamorphose, it stops the top deck Bedlam Reveler. Oh, we drew another Teferi. That's not what we would draw. I th but I think we have to minus this Narset. Yeah. Because we know Adam's top card is Soul Scram Mage. Yep. So, you minus this Narset, he's going to minus, play the Teferi, minus targeting the, tucking the Bedlam Reveler. Depending on what he gets off the Narset. That's true. Oof. Gee, what was that third card? Wrath of God. Is that a Wrath of God? Yeah. Wrath of God's very good. Wrath of God keeps you alive. It does. Um, ooh, do we dare go to two? Uh, we can't do everything. So we can minus this Teferi targeting Beldum Reveler, which I hate doing, but you have to. Actually, no, I think you just Wrath here. Uh, I so think you just have to Wrath. I think there's an argument to Wrath and go to two here, because... Oh, you could also Teferi, if, you can, if you're... If you No, because then we're going to die to Gut Shot if we act crack the Field of Ruin. So yeah, I think you just have to Wrath here. You know he has Soul Scar Mage on top of his deck, and you really don't want to tuck this Bedlam Reveler and put it back into his deck. Especially without no Narsets. Yeah, without the Narsets. So we have Soul, we have Soul Scar Mage, that's obvious. Um, we have to play Teferi here, and... I think... we Unless we draw a land, which he did. So, theoretically, if he wants to go to two, he can sacrifice this fetch land. Uh, 
Portal. 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 You can sacrifice this fetch land, play to fairy. Go. He can go to two plus, and have enough lands to untap the two lands that hold up Colonnade. Mm -hmm. That way we don't have to minus on this Soul Scrimmage. I think we minusing is definitely the safer play, but I think I like this play by Jason. Yeah, this is. Okay. Oh. Oh, and he just draw the fourth path. I mean, his deck does draw a lot of cards. I mean, it, yeah. He filtered through a lot of them. Yeah, that's what that's what this deck does. And now we're going to untap two lands. And now we're even safe from a Phoenix. I don't know. We just drew. I think it might have been Faithless Looting. Could also have been Skewer the Critics or Light at the Stage. It was a red spell. Yeah, yeah, Paul. If this is a Lightning Bolt, though, I'm just shooting it off now. Like, upkeep, Lightning Bolt, and... Don't give him a draw step. The fact that it wasn't it leads me to believe. Oh, and there's Dovin's veto. Yeah, Jason's going to run away with this game now. So what, is, what does Adam have in hand? He's Faithless Looting, I believe, was the draw. Is that a light yep. at the stage? That's not a combo. It doesn't work the way we want it to. And I think we're going to see this get negated, or Dovin's vetoed, which is kind of annoying. Yep. And I think this Tavares is now going to run away with the game. Uh, it. Okay, so, okay, Snap seals it. I'm 100% I can 100. I I will 100%. Yeah, Snapcaster Mage is going to seal this off. Snapcaster Mage does seal the fate of this game. There is no. Um, I'm assuming there's no Bane Fire in Adam's deck. Uh, I assume not either. I. It, uh, or Exquisite Firecraft. Th okay, that was more plausible. It's more pl plausible. I still don't think it's going to happen. Yeah. So um, Bedlam Reveler is pretty good. I mean, we have to keep the Bedlam Reveler. Discard Soul, Soul Scar Mage and this land. I mean, if anything gets Adam out of this, it's Bedlam Reveler. Yeah. He is the Rack player playing tonight. Uh, um, he is, but he's playing Werewolves. That's true. Are, are we going to... So, wait, we're going to fa flashback Faithless Looting? Okay, so I think he's trying to get another Bolt. We have another looting and a mount. I still think you have to keep the Bedlam Reveler. No. Uh, I think, so his elf involves this Phoenix and this Soul Scar Mage being a lethal attacker. So we're going to discard the Bedlam Reveler? Yeah. I don't like this. I mean, no, that's not even now because you just go path, snap, path, or block with a colonnade. Oh, yeah. I think his out was playing a Bedlam Reveler and drawing like bolt bolt phoenix or bolt bolt uh, lava spike. Was that a lava spike and a lightning bolt that he just milled? I think so. Up face looting. I am irate. Irated. Yeah, we just snap path the phoenix. We snap path the phoenix. We. We're gonna just like animate colonnade block phoenix. I'd rather just get it exiled. Well, animate colonnade block soul scar mage path phoenix. Soul scar mage is a four or five. That's fine. I don't want to lose my Kaladin. It doesn't matter. I just... It doesn't uh, matter. Yeah. You kind of don't want to use the Snapcaster Mage, though, so you don't die to a top deck burn spell. I know. I'm saying that's why we just uh, animate Colonnade, block Soul Scar Mage uh, with... Jason will just choose the Sweet Embrace of Death. Yep. <laughs> um, yeah, no, but I like... At this point, yeah, I think you just block the Phoenix. The chance of Adam having a bunch of spells strung together to bring this Phoenix back is low at this point. Yep, I agree with that statement. Yeah, I think this game really came down to the turn where Adam... Bolted uh, Narset. Didn't kill Narset, or I think his no. options there were kill Narset. No, I meant, I meant the turn where like we waited until Jason's end step to bolt, uh, and Adam bolted Narset and not Jason. That was an important part, but I think it was really when we had the chance to attack Jason for lethal, forced him to have something, which he would have, because yeah. he had opt into path. But he would have been under so much pressure the entire time. Yeah, he would have been at like two for almost oh where I have the third Narset now. Um and there's a logic knot, this yeah. game's or the other veto, which I would take over that. I think I would I don't mind logic knot. Oh wait, we have Snapcaster Mage. Oh yeah, okay. Either way it's fine. Yeah. Oh um, we just want in case like he draws Yeah, I think. So I don't know if I agree with the whole like risk everything line is a correct line. 
uh, like the turn two. I don't feel like it's a risk. Uh, I mean, you lose to any interaction. You don't just lose, though. Um, yeah, like, I don't and, know. And, like, what interaction? Like, if he has a... If I'm Jason in that spot, and I have Spell Pierce, Logic Knot, Spell... Or Mana Leak, or Dovin's Veto, I'm countering the first Mana Morphose. I'm doing that okay. every time, because he's right. not bringing back the two Phoenixes in his graveyard. Okay, so no. So, the fact that Mana Morphose resolves tells me he doesn't have a counter spell he's casting. Okay, okay, so... If he, now you bring that up, I think you're right, actually. Yeah, if he does have a Path to Exile... Which he would have have. He would have taken path the soul scrimmage, mm -hmm. and he would have gone to five. Does he play those red deserts? We don't My know. guess is no, because he's playing green cards in his sideboard. Yeah. Um, so he paths goes to five, and then we have a bedlam reveler and three phoenixes in play against a narset on three and whatever cards Jason has in his hand. And Jason's at five. Now, I think it would have, I think it play, would have played out co uh, similarly. But if Jason doesn't dr top deck that path of the opt, he's not dead with the line Adam took. With the line Adam took, I think it was a fine line. Not how I would have played it, but I think it's fine. Except for the fact that if when you're taking that line, I think you need to kill the Narset. Yeah. When, uh, with that lava core, yeah. with that lava spike. Yeah. So, I mean, I think like right. I think the only really play I disagree that Adam made because I can see arguments for most of the plays he made, but when he uh, end set bolted Narset, not Jason. Agreed. Like that's the only play I actually disagree with. Yeah. Because you have to force him to use that counter spell. Yeah. Uh, and it's just like he had. He still. That's when he still had Phoenix in hand, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. Yes. Yeah. So he just bolts him, on the end step. And then Phoenix kill. Yeah. Um, like, Narset did his course right there. Because uh, at that point in the game, every single counter spell Jason draws is going going to be saved for spells that kill me. Yeah. And so, bolting the Narset is essentially Maybe? telling Jason, hey, please draw a counter spell. Like, here, have a counter spell from your deck. Yeah. Because now it's one that he doesn't need to draw later. Yeah. Maybe Adam thought Jason was at four. I don't know. Maybe. maybe. Uh, I don't have the ability to yep. tel communicate telepathically. Uh, telepathically? Telepathically. That's the word I'm looking for. You're not a psychic. I am not a psychic. I kind of wish I was, and I'm kind of glad I'm not at the same time. Same. That would be... If I could, like, actually control it. I just need to point out that I did not notice th this person's name until just now. But there's a member of our chat named Crocheted Condom. And I find that hysterical. Really? Because there is no way that would be effective. Uh, but it, that's his, that's hysterical. Eh, it could be. So crochet condom, that's a that's a great name. Uh, I enjoy it. It's not practical, because I feel like there would be too many holes. But Adam, what do you think his life total is? Get it together, Adam. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, put me in, coach. Yeah. So we have the dispel. Jason is getting a lot of sideboard help. He's got Celestial Purge. He's yeah. got Dispel. He's got. Uh, no, I'm pretty useless, but I do make people warm and fuzzy. That's great. Yeah. By the way, he wouldn't hit Spike. I don't remember what we're talking about now. He wouldn't hit Spike off. Oh, he wouldn't have hit Spike off? Sure, okay. But, I mean, he could have drawn it later. I don't know. Yeah. I'm still irate. I'm an irate pirate. Yep. Shout out to Epic Rap Battles of History for that line. I, I don't watch a lot of that. Though they they are very good. Eh. I I br have been brought much enjoyment by them. I, I appreciate the satire on it. That's true. I so their newest one, which I think they're supposed to have another one come out this weekend, which I'm very excited Ooh, for. Jason, this is the hand Jason can die with. Can die with? Yeah, because it doesn't do anything till turn three. Yeah. Um. If I what was is Jason? that second card in his hand? Uh, it's a land, resto, land, oh, resto. snap, land, For some reason, Narset, my hand was land. saying it was a history of Fenalia. Four lands, Narset, mm -hmm. snap, resto. Uh, just to remind people even the, uh, that these players are playing with the London Mulligan. Yep. Uh, LGSs have the option to implement that at regular REL events until, of course, that 2020 is released, and it is the official rule. Yeah, it's not an option anymore. They're kind of forced. They're, they, yeah, they're forced to do so. Oh, nice draw. There's a Path to Exile. It's a, it's a good card. You darn standard player thinking it was history. Yep. Yeah, it wasn't me, though. I'm smart, smart. 
So this is the prowess hand. Uh, I think he, they're just throwing in tonight in general. I don't know. To, to answer your question, I think that they're doing it from now on. But if you told me they were not, I would not be surprised. So if I'm Jason, or if I'm Adam, I just wanted to get it. Like, I understand the urge to light, light up the stage. But I just want to put all three of my creatures into play. I do, too. I want to just hit him for two this turn and threaten to kill him. Yep. Because he would have been dead. Yep. Press X to doubt you being smart, Robert. And just, like, spam That's it. Z. Is, is that Z? It looks like X from here. It's either right next to each other. That's the space bar. There we go. Now it looks like I'm calling myself dumb. You are. You literally did, like two, like twenty times. I never deny. I never deny it. It's true. Yeah, I think we do. Ha we kind of have force in. I mean, this play is also fine, uh, because you can deploy the monster mentor this turn when you're trying to do all your prowess spells. Useless spear. Yes, I'm sorry. Does that monster mentor? Yeah. Wrong card. So the, we want to draw a Phoenix gut shot. I got one of them. Uh, I think we discard land. Probably land gut shot. Because I believe our other cards are what? Lava Spike, Lightning Bolt, Bethlehem Reveler? Yeah. I am lava spiking this turn. Lava Spike. Yes. The hand. He, that, that's spike. one mana for six damage. Yeah. You want to talk about the philosophy of fire and your mana to damage economy. The economy. One mana for six damage is quite good. Terminus. Terminus. Uh, I, don't I don't think Jason's playing it, but Terminus. Terminus. Terminus would actually just be a blowout. Yeah. I think if there was Terminus in this deck, this would either be flipped over as Terminus or we would have already drawn a card already. Yeah. Because this would have been put at the bottom. Uh, yeah, Terminus is playing, if he was playing Terminus, what do you guys think about the Rackers Burn Bruce? Trying Ball Blightning. He's got to go Jun for Groundbreaker also. What, what's Groundbreaker? Uh, I, the, uh, the three green, the time ship, the green Ball Lightning. No. Uh, Swiss Spear is exiled, not in Graveyard. The, he has, yes, you're correct. I don't know, I don't know if that's going to be relevant. It could be. Yeah. I don't think there are any red delve spells, but you never know. Um, I don't think that uh, that, that card's very good. There's one toughness, right? Yeah, I think. So it just dies to everything. It's probably fine. Oh, this is going to be a fun turn. Do you draw? What do you draw? Skewer. Ooh. Can bolt. We can kill him. We can bolt, skewer, bedlam. Uh, one, two, oh. three, four, your, yep. Oh, okay. Dies to gutshot, yeah. I mean, a lot of people says dies to removal is kind of like something you shouldn't say. Um, but dying to gutshot, drawing another free removal spell is not great. Um... So uh, so if I'm Adam... I do not want to bolt Snapcaster Mage here at all. No, no, you don't want to bolt Snapcaster Mage. Yeah. He's going to block, but if I'm Adam, I... We bolt inside combat. I would have just bolted main phase. Yeah. And I would have skewered main phase. Because you're probably just going to bolt face anyway. Mm -hmm. And then you get the extra prowess trigger. You didn't know you were getting snap half. I mean, it's likely, but... Yeah, I, I think... Uh, Adam should hold off of what he's doing with his bolt because there's no reason to bolt Snapcaster Mage because um, bolt is just more dam does more damage if it's to face because uh, bolt and Snapcaster Mage means those card only does two. Correct. Yeah. Uh, so you do have to you have to bolt now. Yeah. To keep your Soulscar alive. Yep. Bolt you. I mean, it's gonna happen. Jason's gonna go to seven. Yep. And then Jason is going to path. The, the Soul Scar Mage, because yeah. he can't take two. That's ins be insanity. Yep. That's also exiled. Yep. Adam, what are you doing? I don't think you're actually like trying to cheat or anything, but 
The, the Swiss Spear. It's, it's annoying. The Swiss Spear is also exiled. Yeah, because like, I don't think he's getting anything out of it, so no. it's not like intentional or anything. But, ooh, exclamation point, pints. Yeah, I don't think. Feels I good. I thought you don't drink anymore, Paul. Level four judge. How long does it take to become a level four judge? I'm curious. Uh, they don't exist anymore. I, I know. I'm joking. So one, two. Now we play Bedlam Reveler. Yeah. We draw three. three cards. Two mana, three, four ancestral. It's a light of the stage. It's a rending volley and That's a blood, a blood moon. moon. Interesting. Blood Moon is not a card I think I want against Blue White Control if I'm at Adam's uh, spot. I think you can get it game, t just get them game two. Because like, but if I'm Jason, I'm kind of expecting it. Like even if I don't think Adam should bring it in, I'm gonna play around it in case he does. All right, uh, so Swiss I think Adam, I think Adam has this game because of the Rending Volley. Yeah, Rending Volley is. K kills all the creatures that kills Jason all the plays. creatures unless he's playing kitchen things. It does kill it technically. You're right, but it comes back. Yeah, actually no, Soul Scar Mage does kill it. You're right because it puts a minus. W that's hot. That is hot. Narwhal, unicorns, and level four judges, all creatures of myth. What, what are you talking about? Yeah, okay, my my last name here. literally has Narwhal in it. It's not true, but it. This part of it. So, uh, so Jason just conceded rather to show, because like it didn't matter. Yeah, he didn't want to show the rest though. Yeah, like it didn't matter if he played it or not, mm -hmm. because uh, the two unblocked creatures were lethal anyways. Yep. Fun fact. Good old Swift Spear. Jason could have tried to snap off for another path, but like that's, that's like. Yeah, no, that's, that's dangerous. I mean, that's the best he has. That's where you get like the kid from The Simpsons going like. <laughs> I'm in danger. That's what I say that all the time, but every time I say it, I feel like I win somehow. Do you feel like you win? That's fair. I have figured out, so one of my friends, uh, who's he's commentated once, his name's Logan Reinhardt. Mm -hmm. um, I have figured out that the secret for me to beat him, I don't know if this works for everybody else, mm -hmm. but the secret for me to beat him is just to make sure I vocalize to him that this is a bad matchup for me. Every time this has happened, uh, it started off, I was playing Bardu Pyromancer, he was playing Living End. Oh, yeah. So it was like, oh, this is a bad matchup for me. He wins game one, and then I just have Thoughtseize Surgical when he has Living oh, End, both hand. games two and three. I don't know why he gets a hand with Living End in hand. I don't remember. I think he, like, mulliganed once or twice or something. Uh, then it happened in the finals of a PPTQ, where I was playing Jeskai Control, which was standard, mm -hmm. and he was playing Mono Blue. Yeah, that's a terrible matchup. It is until you get turn six to play Nibmizzet, oh, and yeah. then they just can't win. Oh, yeah. That's actually not true. I have... I, I did lose sometimes. And then it happened uh, yeah, last when weekend. Deep freeze. What? When it did Sorry. go deep freeze. No, he just had too many creatures in play. Yeah. Um, but it happened last weekend when I was on Standard is a Phoenix, and he was on uh, Simic Nexus. Which, again, is it's true. It's not a good matchup. But did, did you have Spell Pierce main deck? No. All right. So all your kind of magic was in the side? Yes. Game two, one, he, like, mulliganed to five, though. And I all just, right. like, brought back two Phoenixes on turn three. Yeah, that'll um, do it. Yeah, narwhals, uh, narwhals are real. I don't know why anyone's saying they're they're fake. Also, uh, they're just, quick, just unicorns inside blubber suits. Yeah, quick reminder: we are doing a giveaway for uh, a uh, social colonnade. Yes, um, integral in game one of this matchup. Yep. Yes. Wait, crochet condom. Who are you? <laughs> when is he not going to play teamer? I'm t I'm been playing teamer technically. Exactly. I you been, always play teamer. I just been playing teamer scape shift. It's the. Uh, yeah, I, I'm trying. I'm figuring out. I'm trying to figure. I'm trying to hash the rest of the details. I can't wait for him to realize that Nimble Mongoose is not a good card. Oh, I know it's not. It's gonna make me very happy. Yeah, uh, we're giving away Colonnade. Uh, same spiel as always for the points. Uh, you. Tw yeah. Uh, Twenty-five points to enter. Five hundred points for subscribing. Fifty points for following. One point for every. Bit cheered, five points for every ten minutes. Unless you're a subscriber, you get ten points if you're a subscriber for a one-to-one -one ratio. So there is a Blood Moon in yeah. Adam's hand. Yeah, I want and our integral. And if it. I'm Adam, I would have boarded my Blood Moons out because Jason saw them in game two. Yep. And this is a deck. Jason is a deck that can easily, easily play around Blood Moon. Oh yeah, man. Benjamin Barry wants that Celestial Colonnade. Who doesn't want that Celestial Colonnade? Uh, smart people. Why? Because why would you want to play Azorius Guildgate in your modern deck? Okay, you can also just, like, get the Colonnade, 
Yeah. And then sell the colonnade. Ah, uh, I don't know. It's I, not as good, because then you won't have a colonnade yeah. that was given to you by your great friends here at Top Deck Productions. But you can just get, like, yeah. a free $15. True. So a lava spike. That is also true, crochet condom. Blood Moon is probably just too slow on the draw. We have lava spike in the skewer, which is a burn deck. All right. And you uh, notice Jason is not cracking this uh, flooded strand, just yeah. in case. Also, he just wants to increase the amount of lands in his deck because he just misses land <laughs> drop. I mean, yeah, that's fair. Now, if I'm Adam, I'm slamming this Blood Moon. Uh, he doesn't have a man. He doesn't have. That's sad. I think this might be worth Dovin's veto. Probably. I mean, he had to, he burned a gut shot to uh, do so. I, and I'm curious. Jason's probably going to get a planes. He might get hollow fout. Like, no, he knows blood moves in the deck. Yeah. You have to get the planes. All your almost all of his important cards in this matchup, like Path to Exile and uh, the timely reinforcements, if he's playing it. But also just like he needs white mana. Hey, level four judge. I helped with that lotto advice. What was the lot of advice? Um, so basically, if there's like a lot of tickets, like entries, or whatever, that it doesn't matter if you like do like one or like five tickets. It's just like thousands already. So yeah, you that's go to true. Point one to point five. Um, and I forget the rest of it, but it's like you're competing with yourself at a certain point. Fair. I don't know. Um. But yeah, uh, so what statistic? I learned I learned some like statistical model a couple days ago. It was it was a triangle, and I don't remember what it was, but it was, it's just it was just really cool. Yeah, yeah, it's basically like buy a wonder, buy a lot. Ooh, uh, B click. Block. Who are we bleak, B clicking? I, th I don't know. I if I'm Jason and I have a subpar card in my hand, I would have done it myself, but. So He's going to target what, Adam, and we're going to kill the click. I think what Jason wanted to do here is to bait a bolt out to so he can resolve this timely. I mean, that makes sense. Man. Oh, gentle, you don't have enough tickets. It's 25 points per ticket, so you can check your uh, points by doing exclamation mark point. G gentle? That's G Gene Clampit. Gene Clampit. My bad. I, I thought I saw a T. It's like we were playing Overwatch, and this guy's name was Funky Monk, and Nate just would not call him. He kept calling him Funky Monkey, and he got so mad. It's mm -hmm. really funny. Yeah, so I think Jason just wanted to set up this um, timely. I mean, yeah, this card is a lights out. Yeah, this I mean, does it does a lot, a lot right here. A lot of things. Uh, Gene, you can check your points by exclamation mark points and divide your points by 25 to see how many... Entries you can do. Sure, Manamorphos. We found land number three. So we can Blood Moon. Woot, back under rank 20 again. Lex is Hearthstone, I'm assuming. Uh, I think we do Blood Moon. Oh, yeah, we're definitely playing Blood Moon. I mean, so, I mean, it effectively stone rains Jason. Yeah. Uh, and he could blank yeah. future draws. Genie Clampett, if you need points, you can, if you don't follow us already, you can get 50 points for following. Uh, if you want extra points right away, you can just subscribe and that gets 500 points. Um, uh, if you have Amazon Prime. Uh, you get Twitch Prime sub. Yeah, you can do Twitch Prime from. All these points and nothing to do with them. And You can enter the giveaway. He can't. Why not? Because... That's so Paul. sad. Okay. That's sad. No offense, Paul. Um, it's the oh. price of the sword. <laughs> I'm a mod. Oh, okay. That's why. And I don't think you, if I, even if I wasn't a mod, I don't think I can. Well, yeah, we're like actively working with the stream. I guess we are. That, that'd be, that'd be awkward. Yeah, I think... We have Path to Exile. Yeah. I'm just a VIP. Uh, I'm not. I'm a, I'm an idiot. 
Not yeah. going to disagree here. I know you're not. You're never going to disagree with that statement. Lol, I still remember where I was winning one giveaway. Did you win a giveaway? I did. Uh, did he win and not know? Well, I probably couldn't won. Remember when you blew you stash from? What stash did you blow? I don't know. Are you keeping drugs for me? No. Do we, do we need to have an intervention? Chat, I'd like to have an intervention on oh, Robert. Oh, yeah. We're going to have an interve intervention on Goldfish. Well, I can't win anyways. Goldfish. If I win, it's just re-rolled. And I don't think it's set up so much. I think it's set up so much. Can't win anyways. Probably. Robert eats too many goldfish. We have to have an intervention to stop him from eating goldfish. Nah, dude. Um, oh, yeah. I dumped all my tickets because... Was I drunk? Oh, yeah. It was re-rolled. I, li I like uh, Jason's play here just trying to win. I mean, yeah. Goldfish are really good. He just eats too many of them. No, I don't. I'll fight you. I, I slightly prefer Cheez-Its, but it's very slightly. Mainly because they're the, these boxes of Cheez-It duos that are like half sharp cheddar, half Parmesan. And I, I can go through one of those in like a week. Are we going to Dovin's Veto the Snap? Yes, we're going to Dovin's Veto the Snap. I'm at the gut shot on the... Oh, God. Adam's just flooding out here. I mean, yeah. That's what happens when you play these decks with no actual card advantage. And yeah. He's, his only real, like, stuff to mitigate flood is, like, the four... By <laughs> slightly prefer you shut your whole mouth. Yeah. Cheeses over goldfish by very, very small amount. Goldfish are still amazing, and I will. Okay, actually, now that I think about it, I I prefer Cheez Its over regular goldfish. I prefer flavor blasted goldfish over Cheez Its. Is, Man, that, okay? Is that okay? This Soul Scar Mage is a Stonewall and Jason. Yeah. No snack food wars. Oh, that's like the best part. Snack food wars are great. He, yeah, I agree. He probably shouldn't be playing extra lands. Yeah, because of the fact that there is faith saluting in his deck. I, I think he's just accepted that it's not. Ooh, really cool. we found a win condition. No, we didn't. Blood Moon. Dang it! <laughs> I just always, I always see Colonnade, and uh, assume it's a win condition. Uh, we're going to opt real quick. Oh no no! You don't get to resolve your soul scrimmage yeah. yet. I want to I want to find a counter spell, so badly. All right, we're on turns now. Our oh, <laughs> wait! Can, can he actually logic not this? I don't want so. <laughs> one two three four five six seven. One two three four five six seven eight nine. If there are not three cards in his graveyard, I'd be shocked. Yeah. Best snack food: beer. Can we just say alcohol? I'm not that into beer. I mean, Blood Moon isn't that good against control. Jason's been very easily playing this game. If, if Blood Moon wasn't, if Blood Moon was gone, though. I mean, if Blood Moon was gone, yeah. J I mean, it's annoying. If you're the yeah. control deck, like you never want to see Blood Moon. Yeah. But it's fine now. If he's like Esper or Jeskai control, this would be a different story. Ah, eh, more so against Esper than Jeskai. I mean, that's true, but still. Like, I most of the time Jeskai doesn't play a basic mountain. Yeah, but, I mean you don't. Need I mean to. I think it's they do now because uh, yeah. That that is also true. If there was pressure and we were actually trying to kill Adam, oh, we found a skewer of the critics, yeah. guys. I I agree. It's better. Level four judge. That was an unbelievable. Yeah. No. And 